We are on buoyancy calculations part two. More students get these questions wrong than any other. It is so worth using a methodical calculated approach. We're looking at finding an object's weight or volume. This is example question three from my study notes. So we have a question. What are we going to do? We're going to draw a diagram to describe what the question is saying. We have an object. It has an upward force and it has a downward force. What we need to do is work out what those things are. The upward force we will find by multiplying the volume by the constant based on the type of water it is in. So, the weight of the object, according to the question, is 150 kilograms. The type of water it's in is salt water. One litre of salt water weighs 1.03 kilograms. We can enter those numbers in. The object is neutral. That means the downward force and the upward force are equal. So if the downward force, the weight, is 150 kilograms, the upward force must also be 150 kilograms. Now we have to look, and we know that multiplying the volume by 1.03 will give us the upward force. Well, we want to do the opposite. We want to take the upward force and figure out what the volume is. If we're going to inverse that arrow, how do we inverse the multiplication sign? What is the opposite of multiply? It's divide. So let's take 150 kilograms and divide by 1.03 and we will have our answer. The correct answer is 146 litres. Answer A.